All right, hi, this is James with the OneHourSmartHome.com, and today we are going to show you how to test your doorbell transformer voltage. So before I get too far in this video, please like, please subscribe to this video, or click on any links below. It helps support this channel so we can make more great videos for you. So the way you're going to do this is you're going to have to have the power on to be able to test your doorbell transformer voltage. And you're also going to need something called a multimeter. So this is a multimeter that uh, I like and recommend. This one's from eTech City. It's pretty simple. It's somewhere in the $20 to $40 range. And uh, it's auto ranging, which is a feature that's really nice. There's a link to this below. You can click on that. As well as there's another one that's uh, not quite as nice, but it'll get the job done. Uh, we'll put some links below to that as well. So uh, why would you want to test your transformer voltage? Um, you could be wanting to test your transformer voltage because your doorbell isn't working. Um, so that's a good way to troubleshoot it. We'll put a link to a post that we have about troubleshooting your doorbell. And the other reason would be is if you want to get a smart doorbell like the Ring Pro or the Nest Hello, you're going to have to have enough voltage to be able to power these things. Um, typically, they require 16 volts and 30 VA, we'll put a link to a transformer that we recommend that is going to put enough power out for smart doorbells like this or the Nest Hello. So this is the Ring Pro. This will work for the Nest Hello, the Ring Doorbell 2, and pretty much all these smart doorbells out there um, that require a certain amount of voltage. This, this same procedure will work or you'll at least be able to get a reading for what voltage you have and what voltage you need. So a little bit about the multimeter. It's got two probes here. Um, and why I like this one, it's just super simple to use for beginners. So there's all these other settings here. We're not going to get into that. All you need to do is measure voltage. So to turn it on, you just turn the dial and we're going to turn it to the appropriate setting. It's the V with the squiggly line, if I can get that to focus right. Okay. Um, which is the second one, the view with the squiggly line, and then there's basically a view of the straight line and dotted line. These are two pretty universal symbols for voltage measurement or the type of voltage. So voltage with a squiggly line is alternating current, which is what doorbells use, and voltage with the uh, non-squiggly line, the straight line, that's called direct current. That's like what batteries are. So uh, most homes are this... Uh, squiggly line, alternating current, and uh, battery power devices, a lot of them are this uh, direct current, DC, so AC and DC voltage. So we just turn this one on, and what I like about this is it's super simple because there's less settings on here that you need to know about or worry about. So uh, what you're going to do is you've got two places that you could test the voltage. Um, you could either test it over here at the transformer, or you could test it at the doorbell. Now, remember, we have the voltage on. The the, the wiring is hot. Um, but this is low voltage, so it's not quite as dangerous as, uh, you know, high voltage that's like in your light switches or your um, in your uh, general outlets and wiring and everything in your house. But you still don't want to get shocked by it. These things are insulated, so uh, you're good there. You could always wear gloves. Um, make sure you're wearing shoes and don't stand in a puddle of water. Those are my general recommendations for working with electricity, um, but just be safe, okay? So uh, the first one we're going to do is we're going to test the voltage over here on the transformer and see how much voltage we have, okay? It doesn't really matter which terminal you go to which here, okay? But you can see the multimeter is now reading 21.8 volts AC, okay? So that's awesome. It's working. That is enough voltage for a smart doorbell. Let me move the wire out of the way here. That is enough voltage for a smart doorbell. 22 volts is more than enough. That's awesome, okay, great. Now, a lot of people think, oh, can I test my transformer voltage at my doorbell chime? So let's just test to see. And I already know the answer, but, oh, we're, we're not really getting anything. It says 0.39, which is not really any voltage. That's that's not enough to power anything, but over here we get 22 volts, or 21, 21.8, 22. And over here we get, you can see, 0.39, which is nothing. Why is that? Well, because for the doorbell to actually work, it needs to close a circuit. 
that's just the amount of voltage it's going through to power this little light that's inside the doorbell here. So you won't get an actual true reading of your doorbell voltage at the doorbell chime unless you do this. And then it shows you what you're getting. So we're getting like 14 right there, but that's not a good way to do it. And uh, holding the doorbell down like that can ruin your transformer because it's basically shorting everything out when you hold it for a long time. So don't, don't do that. Um, but you see, that's not a good location to test your voltage. Okay. We don't, we don't want to do that. All right. So the other place that you can test your voltage is very simple. It's on the back side of your doorbell. Okay, and you just need to pull the doorbell off the wall that it's mounted to. Usually it's mounted with, uh, you know, like two screws like this one here. You loosen those, and then you've got these two handy-dandy terminals where the wires are screwed to that you can test the voltage. And this is probably the quickest and easiest way to do it. And all you got to do is put your multimeter probes right there. And look, look at that, we're getting 21.4 volts. So we know that that has enough voltage to power a smart doorbell like the Ring Pro or the Ring 2 or the Nest Hello. So that is how you test your voltage. Uh, that is how you test your doorbell transformer voltage. Um, please like and subscribe to this video. I hope that helped you out. I uh, hope this helps you troubleshoot. Uh, this is a nice little multimeter. I do like this one uh, from eTech City. Uh, there's other ones out there that are in the similar price range, but this is just a good starter multimeter that's going to serve you well for even some more advanced stuff uh, with electrical. But it's economical enough that it's not like a crazy investment. Um, the most important thing here is try not to shock yourself. If you do, you'll probably be fine because it is low voltage, but just be careful. And the other thing is just make sure that you test it at the doorbell or your doorbell transformer. If you don't have enough voltage, please click on any of the links below to our website that teach you how to uh, install a doorbell transformer, which doorbell transformer to get, and what doorbell chimes also are compatible with the Ring Pro, the Nest to Low, the Ring Doorbell 2. So we've got all those resources for smart doorbells at our website. Highly recommend doing that. We also have resources for doorbell troubleshooting if you're having problems with your doorbell at onehoursmarthome.com. So go there search doorbell, whatever topic you're looking for, and you're going to find something that's going to help you out to fix your doorbell or install a smart doorbell. We've tested all this stuff. We test this with smart doorbells. We've installed a ton of these things, and uh, that's why we created this video, because a lot of people have this problem, and we want to make sure you're able to protect your home with a smart doorbell. It's a great investment. Uh, little story, you know, I, I got one of these. I have the, uh, I had an S to low for a while, but, you know, I test everything, so... Ring Pro, Ring 2, Nest Hello, I've had them all uh, on my house at some point. You know, I, I didn't necessarily think, hey, this is that worth it. But the reality is this is a great deterrent for package theft, as well as I actually caught a uh, delivery driver uh, from one of the big names literally backing into our fence at like 20 miles an hour. He didn't even see it. He just backed up. He thought that uh, he could keep going down the drive and just crushed it and uh he didn't say anything about it so that was great evidence against uh the company that was very unwilling to pay at first until i sent them a video of what was going on um so that right there is a great investment but also it's just a deterrent for crime um as well as package theft and if someone does steal a package you have uh their face on video so i i think these are a great Great little investment. Most people now know that there's like a blue ring that lights up around these. And at night, that just makes people usually go to the next door rather than going to your house, which is unfortunate that your neighbors might have a problem, but they should probably get a uh, smart doorbell too and uh, makes everybody safer. So highly recommend investment in a smart doorbell. Uh, my favorite ones are the Ring Doorbell 2, the Ring Doorbell Pro, and the Nest Hello. Those are kind of the three that I generally recommend. It just depends what ecosystem you're in. If you want to have a ecosystem with Ring products in the Ring security system, I recommend going with a Ring Pro or a Ring Doorbell 2. Uh, I personally like the Ring Pro better than Ring Doorbell 2. And the reason for that is the Ring security system, it's like $10 a month for a subscription for professional monitoring, which is crazy cheap. So you can get the professional monitoring 
for $10 a month for, with your alarm system. And then the video footage is free on your Ring Doorbell Pro or Ring Doorbell 2. It's unlimited video footage where all the Ring cameras get stored or an unlimited number of cameras. And I think the footage is stored for 30 or 60 days. And you don't have to pay anything extra. When you pay for that professional monitoring service, they will store your video footage for free for you. The Nest Hello, you know, if you've got a Nest thermostat and you want to, or a Nest Cam, and you want to add a smart doorbell, that is also a good option. Um, it's a little bit more pricey for the Nest stuff, and the Nest security system is a little bit more pricey overall per month. So, you know, that's kind of why I lean towards Ring a little bit. But Nest is still a great product. Nest Hello is a, a very good product. And the Nest thermostat, you know, that's kind of the the best uh, Nest, the best smart thermostat kind of out there. You know, there's Ecobee and there's other options, but the Nest is generally what people use for smart thermostats. It looks good. It works good. It's easy to install. So if you've got Nest products, maybe you want to add a Nest doorbell. Or if you're thinking about home security overall, maybe this is better with a ring security system, which I really like because you don't have to pay like $70 to those big brand name security companies for the exact same products and devices that you could get from Ring. Uh, so I think that's a huge savings over the long term. I've got an alarm going off. So, okay, Google off. And, uh, that is all I've got to say about this. Hopefully this helped you and please like, and subscribe to this video. Go to our website, onehoursmarthome.com, all spelled out. And we will see you next time and appreciate you guys for watching this and being here. Thank you. Bye.